What is up guys and welcome to the South Coast. In today's video we are continuing our comparison to see which cutting pattern is the quickest. Today we're doing the L shaped down and back. Let's get after it. Alright guys, so like I said, we are continuing our comparison of our cutting patterns. Last time we did just a straight down and back. This time we're going to go down, make a 90, down, and come back. So we're going to do a down and back L shape. Uh, only difference is today is that the grass is a little bit more wet. We're a little bit earlier in the day than we were last time. It's been two weeks, um, just like the last time I cut was two weeks since I cut before then. And we're going to be cutting on the same deck height today. So... I'm gonna go ahead and do some of this uh, more tedious bit. Um, we'll go ahead and start the timer whenever I first start the blades. I'll do this more tedious bit sort of here closer. I've got some more obstacles around here. And then I'll get the uh, get y'all set up and watch some of this other stuff. So let's get to it. Have you clicked that thumbs up yet? What about subscribe? Go do that. We'll get back to the video.
All right, guys, well, that is it. Two hours, five minutes, well, two hours, six minutes, somewhere in there, whatever it was. Um, we got it done in the L-shaped pattern today. Grass was definitely more wet, a little thicker. I think it grew a little bit more in the past two weeks than it had uh, previously. So it was a little bit thicker. And I think I had a few more obstacles over here where we're planning to put our house in. I've been putting some stakes, trying to get some, uh, get an idea of how big rooms are gonna be in such. Um, but yeah, we got it done. A little bit longer than the straight down and back method, but still comparable. So uh next time we cut we're going to do the nascar method and then after that i got a comment on my first video of this series to try a diagonal so we'll do a diagonal down and back um basically work uh along the longest axis of the property sort of diamond shape so we'll work along that longest axis uh diagonally start from one side work our way down so Y'all stay tuned. If you haven't already, click subscribe so you can see how this comparison series finishes up. Uh, hit that thumbs up button if you like this video and leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Let me know if there's any other patterns you can think of. And uh, we'll just continue and on. We'll just continue on gathering data on cutting this piece of property. So anyway, guys, I hope y'all have a good one. We'll catch you next time down here on the South Coast.